is going on, folks? Will Turbid here? Fake mic. Real news. Look at that. We're catching them again. All right, join up, guys. This is going to be a very, very cool stream. I'm here with my new friend, Zach, from Gematria Effect News. GematriaEffect.News. Also find him on YouTube, Gematria Effect News 25. He's got a whole bunch of other channels. This guy is, is like me. He's been banned from everywhere. He's been banned way more than me. Uh, what's up to everybody in the chat? Please share this video, Rutherford Gaming, my master troll, N201, welcome, Angel Z, welcome, Watchdog, Ben, welcome to the stream. Guys, let's get over 100 eyeballs watching this because <clears throat> Zach is going to do us a favor today, and he's going to take it uh, super easy and super slow. And, you know, at first I was pretty intimidated by Gematria, and I've been, I've been getting into Zach's stuff lately. And I'm starting to make some of the connections. Okay, there's a 56, there's a 42. But you're hearing all these things and these are numbers. So so, uh, so Zach is going to give us the benefit of the doubt. Uh, and he's going to take us from the beginning today. And he's going to explain it to us like we're little babies. But before we do that, Zach, first of all, welcome to the stream. And you've been truthing for quite a long time. So if you could want to, if you want to, if it's up to you, but if you want to give people a little bit of background, uh, about yourself and how you got into all this. You've been you've been truthing pretty hard for a long time, so I appreciate you. Sure. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, first of all, th thanks for uh, having this stream. And for people who don't know, we just met down in Oklahoma City through Yeah Right the Matrix. And uh, yeah, I think Yeah Right the Matrix. And, and it, it, it was great to meet you because I think you didn't know I was out there. I didn't know you were out there. And it, it's just a reminder that there's a lot of people out there doing good work, and and we don't know about them mostly because of all the censorship. So. Uh, it, it was a real pleasure to meet you. And for all the people who think I'm funny, you, you need to tune, tune into this man's channel because this man is actually funny. He had me rolling for a week straight. And um, anyhow, I, I do think that we got into this for the same reasons. We're around the same age. I think you're a tiny bit older than me. Um, it, it was 9-11. You know, 9-11 really bothered me. I, I was 18 years old at the time. And... Um, it was just such an obvious lie. And I was already, I was already kind of, um, I, I was already just doing a lot of cringing even before nine 11, after the election of George W Bush. Cause I just thought what a joke it was. The, the first Republican president since his father. And, um, it, of course it came down to Florida where his brother was the 43rd governor. And then he became the 43rd president and his daddy was the 43rd vice president. But, um, yeah, I, I just knew something was, was definitely up. And then 9-11 and then happened. And I mean, it was an impossibility. Two planes took down three towers. They came down in perfect demolition. The, the, oh, the one, one more thing, Zach. Zach, one more thing before we uh, before we go too far. Um, I'm, I got to give you a little breakdown real quick. This, that's a cootie shot. Okay, that's a cootie shot. That's what we call it here, right? Um, we call people like Jeffrey Egg Salad, we call them wizards. Um, we don't talk about the cooties here. We call them the cooties because we're trying to get this out. So there's a few words that you could probably think of, like, you know, that, um, beautiful Sandy Cove area. Sure. We don't say that. We don't, there's a few things that we're just gonna, we're just gonna wink, wink, nudge, nudge, because there's no point in talking about bringing Gematria to a whole new audience. If, because I know you, Zach, you're a naughty, naughty boy. And you just, that's why you've been banned so many times, but I've learned my lesson. So just if you could keep that in mind. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I, I will respect that. And, and I was planning on doing that already because I, I, I've watched your videos and I, and I see that you like to use the filtered language, which is fine. It will keep your channel up a lot longer. I, I kind of wear uh, I kind of wear channel suspensions and deletions as a badge of honor. And um, I do, too. But, you know, the thing is, like, see, me and you, you've been in this longer than me and we're different people and we have different approaches. And that's good. We need many different and regardless of what our approaches are, we're still out there every day trying to do something. And people need to hear it from different voices, different opinions, and different angles. So that's pretty important in the first place. So as long as you're out there saying this, we need different people saying this. I, my thought process behind this, look, I already been banned, right? Um, and they already demonetized my my first channel before I made any money off of it. I don't, none of my channels were able to be monetized anyways because they weren't advertiser friendly. Um, but that actually hurts, right? It actually hurts because when you're not monetized, 
your videos don't come up to new people. And the whole reason we do this is because we want to reach new people. So I keep one channel, this channel right here, where I try to be a good boy the most most of the time. I, it doesn't always work out. And then I have demand the truth where I just let let it all hang out. And so I'm going to have demand I have demand the truth too. We're going to have demand the truth up until 19, 20, to where you and yeah, the right the matrix are at to that level where you guys are banned 20 times. And I'll say, hey guys, check out that other channel. Because I think it is important, and I'm actually going to create a brand new channel or get a new channel very soon where it's just only auditing videos, only auditing videos, because those are promoted. Those are promoted by the algorithms. So, and then in my description, hey guys, fake micro real news, demand the truth. You go check that out because we got to hit these people from all angles. And that's what I like about you, Zach, is not only is Zach somebody that's out here every day breaking shit down, showing it to you on video. Uh, but he's also been out there for so, so many days in a consecutively, I believe I heard one time too, but he's, he's been all over the place, actually in the physical realm being uh, nonviolent. And I appreciate that, Zach. So yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I did, I did want to, I did want to let that be known. No, you can interrupt anytime, man. It's your channel. I, I don't mind if you got a question or need to interrupt or have a thought come up. I'm the same way. Um, if you don't mind, give us a backdrop of uh, the the World Trade Center's exploding. It, it might be nice to talk about here in the minute. Sure. But um, again, it was 9-11. Am I mistaken? Is it 9-11 that got you on your path too? Well, you know, mine was, it's so funny. Mine was, my, I'll keep it very brief. But my story was weird because I honestly am not a very... I'm like a meat and potatoes type person. I need hard, cold, hard facts to be able to see everything. One day in about 2001 or 2002, and 9-11, I, I, I didn't, I, I bought it at first. And, and when George Bush was out invading Iraq, I was like, my official stance on that was, well, you know, Bush might not be a good guy, but he's taking care of Saddam. And that's, that's good. Saddam's a bad guy. Little did I know that the CIA helped uh, put the back party and then later Saddam in power. I had no idea about all of that. So that's that's what I was thinking. I went to the DMV one day. It's the, the Rhode Island DMV is notoriously long with a, a few of my friends and my ex-girlfriend at the time. Took a ticket, went across the street, started smoking a blunt. And then I don't know how this came to me, but then I started talking about, and I don't even remember exactly what I said. I said some stuff about the dollar bill, and I don't even know where I got that from. Because at that time, YouTube wasn't a thing, you know, uh, I don't know. Honestly, to this day, I don't know where I got that from. And I was making connections as I was talking and I forgot about it. And six months to a year later, I'm like, all right, I need to work out. I was working out a little bit. And then I'm like, I need to throw in. And Zach, you already know this about me. You already know this fun fact about me. I was like, I need some energy to work out. I'm going to throw in Wu-Tang. <laughs> and I hadn't listened to Wu-Tang forever. Uh, this one or two, I forget what it was. And they played this song, Impossible. And I heard this a while before. And this song, Impossible, Wu-Tang's talking about cooties and cootie shots and third eyes, microchips, stuff going on in the hood. I'm, and then they say Illuminati. And, I, and it hit me. I was like, oh, damn, that's that word again. And then it remained dormant again for another few years until I got till, until YouTube. And I, honestly, 69. Nice. Until YouTube happened, uh, YouTube was a major catalyst. And then so I typed in the word in the infancy of YouTube, Illuminati. And I watched every motherfucking video on the Illuminati that there was. And then people were saying crazy shit, right? And I was like, that can't be true. And then I would verify the things that these people would say. And some of them were not true. Some of them were crazy. And then some of them were true. Yeah, there actually is a place called Bohemian Grove. You know what I'm saying? And then that got me down to 9-11. And I got into all these people. But 9-11 was the first thing. I spent, once I got down the rabbit hole 9-11, I was like, okay, just to shut to shut up here. Yeah, first of all, I spent I spent about a year and a half or two on 9-11 reading the commission myself, checking out every information from the truthers to the debunkers to the debunking of the debunkers and the debunker. And I, and I was like, I came to the conclusion. I was like, yeah, there's, there's no way that this official story is true. There's absolutely no way. And then if that, this. So then after that, you know, I just started doing my thing, seeing, okay, how to, trying to figure that out and, and see what's up. And everyone... Um, before I toss it over to Zach, go check out Yeah Right The Matrix 20. Yeah Right The Matrix 20 is the reason this connection happened. I'm going to pull up these uh, these twin towers. But yeah, 9-11 is the thing that uh, that was like, okay, I know for a fact something weird is, is, is going on here. Uh, I just got to say, do you know RZA's song, Tragedy? 
Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, I do. Yeah. Put up the lyrics to that song too. After we do nine, nine oh, you can put up that right now. Actually, yeah, because I think it's Riz's verse on "Impossible" too that, that you're talking about. Yep, and, and also uh, you got yeah. Yeah, and again, I mean, I, I I do think that was also part of my awakening as a young person listening to hip hop music because what other what other genre of music was referencing the Illuminati? Exactly, and, so. cannabis, Wu Tang, these type of people that they were they were talking about this prodigy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them. Uh, the, the Northeast rappers, where you're from, you're, you seem to be from the more enlightened part of the world. So, uh, in a way, yes; in a way, no. Sure, all things good <laughs> and bad. But, um, but yeah, tell us about your. Keep, keep going. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop interrupting. No, it's okay. So again, the question was how how did I get on this topic of of talking about gematria so much? Something I never thought would happen in my life. But it, it was mostly because of 9 11. Um, you know, this when that day happened. Again, I was 18 years old and I just knew it was an obvious lie. And, and the, inter the Internet was in its infancy back then. But there was research out there. And um, again, just I was coming across all these facts. And I, I it just quickly I saw there was something to numbers and patterns. And I, I'd never really studied the topic of numerology before. But there, somewhere out there on the Web was somebody pointing out all the 11s in 9-11, how, how the buildings look like an 11 how New York's the 11th state, how it happened on the 11th day of the month, how there were 110 stories in the two tallest towers, buildings one and two. There were 47 floors in building seven. And of course, the numerology of 47 mm. is four plus seven is 11. If you read out New York City, there's 11 letters in it. George W. Bush, 11 letters. It was just this big, long list of 11s. The first flight to hit the building was flight AA11. So I saw that and I was like, wow. So, OK, and in numerology, 11 is the master number. And then I realized that no doubt this was all part of a master plan. When I when doing some more research, I realized that in 1968, which was 33 years before 2001, which, of course, is divisible by 11. You know, you got 11 the master number. 22 is the master builder number. 33 is the master teacher number. But 33 years before 9-11, in 1968, World Trade Center construction began. George W. Bush graduated from Yale and Skull and Bones. And we'd been pointing out how on Yale's website, it showed that the graduating class in 1968 had 911 members. They just changed it recently to 910, and that's because people are catching on. It's funny that Yale changed their graduating class amount. I, and again, I do have it archived on my own page that it used to say 911 members in the 1968 class. But... Um, Again, 1968, 911 was also made the national emergency dialing code by AT&T. And that happened on the 47th day of the year, which, again, breaks down to 11 numerology. But in addition to that, in 1968, 2001, a space odyssey came out, which is about technology overtaking man. And that always resonated with me because I thought about, you know, what happened after 9-11. We got the Patriot Act, which essentially made the surveillance state possible. And what made it all the more threatening was the reality that we just gotten these in our pockets. And all of a sudden, Big Brother had the right to keep tabs on all of our text messages and phone calls and emails. And, you know, all of a sudden, everybody just happened to be getting these things in their pocket that soon enough had, you know, listening and recording devices on them and cameras. And it's like, look at this, the cell, everybody's getting a cell phone. This happens. Next thing you know, it's, it's upgraded to the smartphone. But you just see how it all comes together. 2001, A Space Odyssey about technology overtaking man, technology. And who knows how much technology was used to manipulate us on 9-11. Again, I'm not even sure planes really hit the Pentagon or, or the towers. I mean, they could have done a little CGI effect for all we know. And don't forget, they didn't have the footage of the first plane until the very end of the day. If you guys forgot how it was, the, the footage we had all day was of plane two. But... Um, 1968, other things that happened that year, Boeing debuted their jumbo jetliner. It was Boeing planes involved that day. And, and if you don't know, the construction firm that built the World Trade Centers is from Seattle, Washington, just like Boeing, just like the man who designed the World Trade Centers is from Seattle, Washington. And we'll get to why Seattle is so important to the 9-11 ritual. But uh, the New York Jets, that was their only Super Bowl winning season, the 68 season where the Super Bowl was played at the beginning of 69. Um if you recall, after 9-11, we had the Patriot Act and then the emergence of the Patriots. And if you remember how the uh, 
the story of Tom Brady came to be. It came to be in a game against the New York Jets. Mo Lewis of the New York Jets sacked sack number 11, Drew Bledsoe, who was from Washington State, like the firm that built the World Trade Centers, like Boeing, like the man who designed the World Trade Centers. Drew Bledsoe played as a Washington State Cougar. But um, again, you know, he gets sacked by the New York Jet Mo Lewis, and then here comes Tom Brady by the numbers. But uh, and of course, football's eleven on eleven for for some more elevens. But um, again, I, I looked at all this stuff for years, and I said, okay, I, I see the rituals, I see the numbers, but still, like, is there more meaning to numbers? Uh, like, what is it about thirty three? Okay, I understand that masonry's into thirty three. Why did all this plan go into motion thirty three years before nine eleven? So it, it took me a long time to finally find the passage in Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages, where he lays out these two ciphers of the English language. Again, if you've never read Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages, which really I should go back and reread because there's so much information in that yeah. book. But there's all this occult knowledge. There's all these secrets. Manly P. Hall was a 33rd degree Mason himself. And um, let me I'm ask you, that's one of my questions here. So I I'm curious, right? Because what's up with Manly P. Hall? Because, you know, we're, we're told in this truth com community, you know, Masons are bad, 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 bad. But we all also know, most of us watching here, that some people don't think that all Masons are bad. People think it's just- Well, think about that, just logically. It, 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 is in any group, is all things good or bad? No, of course not. So that's the thing is like, but but the the one thing that people will say a lot, I'm not even convinced on this, but- some people will say, you know, once you make it to the 33rd degree, then you kind of know what's up and you're a baddie. And then people speculate and other people have talked about supposedly whistleblowing that there are other there are other degrees beyond that. Just Manly P. Hall himself, or if you want to talk about uh, masonry a little bit, because I'm curious because, you know, Manly P. Hall just seemed like a dude that was dropping knowledge on everybody you know what i'm saying he didn't seem like he did anything douchey that i know of and uh, you know talking to jordan maxwell he said rest in peace to the god he said that you know that he was more manly p hall was like a mentor to him and i last thing i'll say on this is too is like yeah i agree with you dog you have to i, I think everybody out there regardless of what zach opinion or my opinion on manly p Hall's, you have to get that book the secret teaching of all ages because it breaks down in an encyclopedic view every single part of esoteric occult, sacred geometry, numbers, astrology, symbolism, gematria, and it, and it reproduces actual things like casting spells. It re will reproduce ancient documents, and and the pictures and the and the figures alone are just incredible. So it's it's a great way to look at it, and then you're getting it from the perspective of a well-researched person who's also a 33rd degree Freemason. But yeah, what's your take on all that shit I just talked about? Sure. So again, like you said, in the truth community, which I would say is mostly a disinformation community where everyone's regurgitating the same talking points that are largely ill-informed, uh, a lot of people think masonry is the pinnacle of it all and you know everything that's wrong with the world. And um, again, no doubt masonry has a hand in the evil of the world at the higher levels. But the, the reality is, is any man can become a Mason. And uh, I, I have all sorts of shills accuse me of being a Mason. I'm not a Mason. I've never been in a Masonic lodge. There is a part of me, though, that, that you know, is curious. There's a part of me that thinks like, God, sometimes I do want to join just to see if I can get some things. But I, I probably won't join in my lifetime because, well, we'll get to that later. But anyway, the, the thing is. Manly P. Hall shared a lot of information in the world and brought a lot of light into the world that, and again, in the occult, light is knowledge. But had he not done that, uh, people like myself, how, how would I ever know to do the work that I'm doing had he not written that book and putting that out there? I mean, and what, what he revealed in that book is so important to exposing what's going on in the world today. Now, where you could argue that Manly P. Hall might have been, you know, you know, giving some truth and in, in misleading people, he maintains, and I, I have a whole, Manly P. Hall has so many books. I mean, you could read his books until the end of time. There's probably not enough time in the world to read all of his books. But in one of his books, he says that the U.S. was actually established by a secret society called the Order of the Quest, where their symbol is the phoenix. And the purpose of the U.S. was to help bring about a world order that's based in justice, truth, and Francis uh, Bacon also talked about life. this years before too. You know, this, this is he's pulling on real things here. 
Right. So, so it, again, he, he it, and it sounded like he's a proponent of this society that, that wanted to create a, a one world order based in truth, justice, democracy, and philosophy, or whatever he says it's based in. It's something like that. It's been a while since I read it. But it, it's like, okay. So you can look at that and you're like, okay, well, there definitely is a, a cabal that, that is trying to bring about a one world order. And they definitely do use the term democracy all the time. Like right now, they just established a government disinformation board because they're saying that all this disinformation on the internet, like yours truly, is the biggest threat to democracy. So, I mean, when you look at it, it's like, okay, did he, did he share all this information? And is he essentially advocating for a sinister agenda that's really not about those things, that, but uses those things? I mean, you could make that argument, but I'm not going to accuse him of that because I don't know. I mean, he was dead and gone before I was even on this earth. And the reality is he could be saying something that is true. Maybe that really was the people who behind this nation. Maybe that really was the idea, but it got corrupted by, by another source. I mean, you can speculate on all sorts of things. Ultimately, unless Manly P. Hall's here to explain himself. And, 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 and that's the other thing. Even if he was here to explain himself, people would be saying, oh, he's a liar. He's a shill. He's a mason. But I mean, the reality is the, the way you judge a person, in my opinion, is you look at the fruits of their work. What did they do for the world? When I look at Manly P. Hall, I say he's a man who shared a lot of knowledge and information that to me is very helpful for understanding what is truly taking place in this world and, and making sense of it and, and being able to draw straight lines to who is behind the agendas that so many of us are speaking out in this world. So, you know, I, I could say if, if I can only check the box for Manly P. Hall, good guy or bad guy, I'm checking the box for good guy. Could I be wrong to check that? Possibly. But based on what's there, you know, I, I think he did more good for the world than anything else. And um, so if you want. Go, go ahead. ahead. Keep no, go ahead. I was going to say, do you, do you have anything to add to what I'm saying? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I think the same thing, too. You know, part of me thinks that. You know, a lot of times I'll listen to his lectures also online, and I'm wondering to myself, like, who is he giving these lectures to? Like, who is he giving these lectures to? Because maybe he's giving them to ordinary people, but a lot of these people, too, to your point, which I think is a very good point, there is something to be said that when the, the 12,000 years ago, when we had a the sea levels vastly rise and you have the different ancient cultures talking about a, a, a flood, right? Um, it is possible that there was a, and there's some scientific uh, literature to look at to show that, you know, there, that may have been true when the last ice age ended, water levels rose and human beings, we typically, we want to go right near the water, whether it be a river or the ocean, we build stuff there. And that has also been finds where, right off the coast where it looks like other across the globe where other civilizations were. So it is possible. And this is one theory that I definitely retain that there were a group of people, maybe there was an Atlantean or a type of civilization like that, or not even an Atlantean civilization where we just built our shit up. But then when this cataclysm happened, we weren't ready for it. There were some people that said, you know, we're going to be the the gatekeepers of this knowledge and we're going to protect it and we're going to save this and we're going to bring this on. However, my problem with all of that is when you're keeping something secret, I don't think that's good. I think you should share that with everybody else because over time, it's like, all right, who are you to say that we're not ready for this information? And one of the checks on the Manly P. Hall good or bad to me is like, he's sharing this information. But then again, maybe these people are sharing this information like Carol Quigley did and some of these other people thinking, you know, they have no idea about the internet and they're just sharing this, these these writings and lectures with their own elite, their own other people that, because they think we're not even going to look into this. So I don't know, but I, you definitely bring up good points. And I also love the fact that you're not so hard on one thing because a lot of these truthers, they just get in mind, oh, that person, uh, you keep an open mind about things. And that's, and that's very important. So you're coming across uh, Manly P. Hall uh, and in Gematria, you start getting into this uh, let's go back to the beginning of Gematria. What, what, what are the, where did its origins in Gematria? Because I find, at least for myself, that once I, because already <laughs> those 11s and 9-11 were pretty interesting. But where does Gematria originate? What, where does that all come from? Again, it comes from Jewish mysticism, Kabbalah. And they say this goes back to at least Babylon. It probably goes back to the beginning of language in Sumer. 
But uh, again, there's a text out there. It's called The Book of Formation or the Sefer Yetzirah. It's a very short book. And if you look it up, if you look it up on the opening page, it says God created the world with numbers, letters, and words. And that is a nod to gematria. And originally, this code is from the Hebrew language, 22 letters. Again, that's the master builder number. But in Hebrew, it's understood. Every letter is also a number. It's a, it's a it's a language system. It's a counting system. And keep in mind, math is recognized as a universal language. Mathematics is the original language. And mm-hmm. Greek, in, in Greek, gematria is known as isopsophy. The Greek lettering system is also a, a numeric counting system. And a lot of people are aware of 666 in Revelation 13, 18 of the Bible. That's a Greek isopsophy riddle. And so these are practices of the past that are forgotten to modern history. We don't learn about it in our 13 years of slave school. We don't learn about Hebrew gematria and Greek isopsophy and, and, and the relevance of numbers in the Bible. But these are things that the ancients used to study. So it's like the clues are still around. You, you still have the Bible with some of this information still intact. You, you have writings such as Manly P. Hall's. It turns out there are other books out there that mention gematria, but they're few and far between and you know, I was just down in Dallas and, and shout out to Jeremy White. He came to me. He's like, look at this book I just got. I had to wait so long for this. I had to pay $500 for this. There's only 50 copies in the world. And funny enough, at the beginning of that book, the author mentions all of the different books he knows in the world where Gematria is mentioned. And it's a short list. And one of them is Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages. But um, so, uh, again, Gematria goes back to ancient civilization, the, the beginning of alphabets and language. and you know, for the person who says, well, where would this idea come from of, um, you know, God creating the world with letters and numbers? I mean, it, it sounds really arbitrary and out there. If you become aware of the knowledge and just start to pay attention, you, you know, you'll have some things happen in your life that'll that'll make your make you go, hmm, and like, is there something more to this? Is there something spiritual to letters and numbers? It, it, is somehow that there's some natural way that that these patterns and in, in these encoding of words are occurring in our life? And, um, you, you know, just just to make an example, you know, my dad's full name happens to add up to 251. My mom happens to be born on the 251st day of the year. And that's just using the most simple cipher there is. A is one, B is two, C is three, D is four, up to Z, the 26 letters, 26. And, and again, just to understand the relevance of, of how simple some things are that are coded in the language. If you want to just get, if you go to, cl- click on the ciphers thing. D- d- let's do this in real time. Click on the ciphers thing. Now click the full reduction box. Get rid of that. The check mark next to it. Go back. No, go back to English. Well, click get get rid of both of those check marks that you have up there. Get rid of the one that says full reduction. Just drag over there and click. No, keep the green one though. Keep the English ordinal. Okay. And now go to reverse and, and uncheck the two boxes that are in the reverse too. You see how? Yeah, uncheck those. Okay. All right. Now scroll down so we can see everything on the screen because down below it shows the cipher how it is. A is one, B is two, C is three. You just okay. scroll down the page. Okay. Right okay. So this this is the most simple cipher, and its true name is simple English gematria. So as you type in, type out the word simple and hit enter. All right. N- now hit enter. Now now get rid of that and type English. You know, and and, and just. I just want people to see this. We're just going to make this list. This is what this cipher is truly called. Simple English gematria. Notice simple 74. English is 74. Guess what gematria is going to add up to? Hmm. 74. Now, this is occult knowledge. Type out the word occult. This is cool. We're learning real time, guys. Share this video. If you're just joining right now, our guest is Zachary K. Hubbard from Gematria Effect News. That's Gematria Effect News. Gematria Effect News. I want you guys to go to YouTube, open up another tab right now, go to YouTube, type in Gematria Effect News, go to filters, check channels, subscribe to all of these. I got all the questions for this guy too. I mean, this dude, I mean, we're going to get into it too. I mean, this guy's been predicting sports and winning people money um, with all this information. This gets into a lot of stuff. Um, So this is pretty interesting here. So what are the significance uh, of we, we got all these 74s here. If you want, I'll keep typing some of these in. Yeah, What's let's keep going. Let's, let's just, I just want to make the list of people can really see. Type out Masonic. Masonic, study of occult knowledge, oh, 74. Man. Type out Jewish. Jeez. Type out holiday. 
holiday. Uh, we, we, we're going to oh. add to this list, but so far everything is 74. And, and these these are powerful numbers. If, if you've read the Bible, it's full of sevens and fours, especially Revelation. And keep Which in mind, 11. all of these numbers break down to 11 in numerology. That smaller number you see, but no, it's the numerology. Seven plus four is 11, the master number. And this is the master knowledge within Kabbalah, Gematria. So you know what's funny is uh, this: some of the feedback I got on my book, uh, uh, somebody gave this book to a Jewish man, and the Jewish man was blown away because his father was into Kabbalah and, and Gematria, but he didn't want his son to know about it. But he said his father used to have a huge 74 up on the wall above his desk where he studied, and he always wondered what it was about. And, I mean, you think about this nation's birthday. It's 7 slash 4. Um, seven represents divine completion and four represents foundation in numerology as well. So this is like, this is the divine language. And again, numbers have meaning. Now, the thing is, I, I've learned a lot, but still th there's people who know so much more about this study and they know more to the digit of each number. Again, if you, if you study hermeticism, which is also an occult teaching, hermeticism says everything carries a vibration. Every shape, every sound, every letter, every number, they all have a vibration. And if you understand these vibrations, then you can, you, you can use them to have influence in the world. Another hermetic teaching is e you're either one of two things. You're either the person doing the influencing or you're the person being influenced. So yeah. you have to realize the influencers are the people who control our media, our history books who are giving us information every day. And it turns out that they are encoding it this way every single day. And, you know, you, you'll have questions why. But again, you have to study this occult knowledge. And somewhere out there, there probably is a book that says, you know, when you use this number, it, it has this frequency. It resonates. It impacts people in this way. I still don't know all those secrets. I'm, I'm somebody just like Will or, or the person listening. I'm on the outside looking in, trying to understand, but I'm probably doing more research than most people are and dedicating more hours of my life to trying to figure it out. But understand, all of these are old world teachings, things that are, people will leave comments like, oh, Zach has to be one of them because how else could he figure out all this? It's like, everything I figured out, you could have figured out. You, you have access to a library where the secret teachings of all ages is. You have access to a library well, where- Not only that, it's on YouTube and you can listen to it for free. You can pull up the PDF for free. I mean, it's any, it's, yeah, you, have, you guys have the same access. Zach was just inspired because he's like, holy shit, take a look at this. Okay, I, I, I found some new information. I'm curious. I want to verify if that's true or not, right? Right. So we so, went. And right, absolutely. Now, one of the biggest acts of our lifetime was the, was the tumbling down of the World Trade Centers. Do you know what their coordinates were? No. The 74th Meridian West and the 40th Parallel North. Now, with, with regards to them existing 33 years, uh, the, the common Christian belief is that Jesus was crucified on the, at age 33. And, and if you could bring back up the calculator, actually, I want you to type in these things real quick. Sure. Type in Jesus. For people who don't know, September 11th is New Year's Day on the Christian Coptic calendar, and some people contend it's Jesus' real birthday, which probably makes more wow. sense because in the Bible, this his, his crazy, birthday is... Yeah. Type in cross. Type in Messiah. Type in gospel. For people who don't know, gospel's the story of Jesus. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm... Type in parables. I mean, that's very much associated. Parables. With... Yeah, because Jesus spoke in parables. Yep, that's so, so, I mean, that's exactly, yeah, it's associated with Jesus, parables. I mean. So, uh, again, I mean, Gematria, which also equals 74, like simple English and Gematria are all 74. Again, just the whole list we've gone through. They're all 74. Here we are in an, an English-speaking nation that's a predominantly Christian nation where its laws are based on the Ten Commandments, which are biblical, which are also Jewish. They're more Jewish than they are Christian, but they're shared. Interesting, Zach. So I, I just brought up Francis Bacon, and I'm seeing here that they have reverse Francis Bacon. There, there's also forwards Francis Bacon. I mean, Francis Bacon just takes into account capital letters. So lowercase a through lowercase z is 1 through 26. Uppercase a through uppercase z is 27 through 52. When you run it in reverse, it's just doing the same thing with the alphabetic order in reverse. But if you go up to the English cipher, it's just forwards Francis Bacon. Uh, again, there, there's a lot to all this. Well, but then we'll that just shows you, I mean, to me, I mean, Francis Bacon, for anybody who doesn't know, I'll just put him up on screen real quick. I mean, 
if this person is not a like a, a slouch. You know what I'm saying? Like, wait, wait. Oh, this is Francis Bacon. Hold on. I'm thinking. You're, you're thinking of Francis Bacon back in the time of John D., who's who yeah. largely had the vision of creating the new Atlantis where we and now live in the United so States who, of America. Which, which one did this? Are we talking about this Francis Bacon? Here that's the that's... Francis Bacon you're, you're looking for right there. Okay, okay. I, I was like, who is this new guy? It was an artist. Okay, so look. Um, Isn't it funny you bring him up? Today's the anniversary of his death. Weird, dude. This is really synchronistic. And that's one thing that I'll, I'll say, too, is uh, shout out to your right, The Matrix. Go oh, I take it back. Out. I take it back. I take it. I misspoke. Today, today's the anniversary of his him being the Chancellor of England, England ending. So I misspoke. But wow. it was a significant day to him in history. Yeah. See, look, I mean, this guy helped contribute to the scientific method and he's got his own uh, gematria. So that's it, Manly P. Hall. Just if anybody doesn't know who Manly P. Hall is, not only was he a Mason, but I mean, FDR who was also a Mason, who I'm no fan of whatsoever, or any president for that matter. Although I think there were two that were better than the rest, but that's not saying much. Um, FDR thought enough of Manly P. Hall's work to to save all of it, to save it. So, I mean, that's telling you how... So this is not just... And no, there's no offense to Zach either. This is not just Zach and Will talking shit on the internet. This is This is... Ancient Hebrew mysticism, the Kabbalah, we're talking about, this is going on in ancient Greece. We're talking about Francis Bacon, Manly P. Hall. These are no slouches here. And, and Zach himself was, I believe you were, you're a teacher before too, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we're not just pulling this stuff out of our ass. And I have to uh, admit, Zach, I mean, these ones that you're having me pull up. And I, I would also recommend you guys go to the Gematronator. I don't know how to say that, Gematronator. I, I, it's, I guess it's gem and not gem. I've been mispronouncing it. But go in and check some of these things out yourself uh, because I, I'm finding it fascinating right now um, being able to uh, to pull these up and, and getting all these 7411s. It's pretty interesting. But continue, Zach. In my first book, I, I have a chapter and on Tell Francis people Bacon. how you can they, they can get your book because I know there's going to be people in – uh the chat that want to know more so if you could tell me how to get your book so people can do that and also if everybody can subscribe to zach's channel and support him purchase this book if you have extra money and, and you know what i'm saying you're you're pretty well taken care of you got food and supplies uh it'll also be awesome to to support zach financially too uh, not only that you're getting dope information um which i'm just starting to learn so how can people get your book dude Sure. For, for First of all, for all the young people out there who don't have a way to uh, buy anything online, you can get my books for free. If you type out my name on Google, Zachary K. Hubbard, and then space and write out subscribe star, you'll see a subscribe star page comes up. And then I don't use that page for donations. It, I just use it because right on the front page, you can download both my eBooks, letters and numbers and number games. So you can get the eBook versions for free that they're in PDF format. Um, yeah. Or, or Yeah, that's it right there. Well, right click here. on that link. That'll take anybody you there. that cannot afford the book for free. So he's giving it to free. And are these are these links chill right here? Those are all donation links. By the way, you can also buy the books at that same page you're on right now where it says ebooks. That's a place to purchase. I'm gonna them, but... put this right now in the description while you keep talking. So guys, this is gonna be the top thing in the description here. So you can get not only can you get Zach's um book here. And I just updated the description. So it's the top thing in the description. I want you guys to go there and do it. He's giving you the information for absolutely free. But support him on Patreon. He's also got a thing where I think, you know, it's an idea that I had. You know, if we all, if we all give a dollar, I love that idea. We can get, we can do something with that. Or we can pick one person to start a business. And that person's successful. And then we do all donate it all again. But all the links are here. So I just put this in the... Uh, in the description, click on this. It'll get you to his books. You can donate to him on PayPal, Patreon, but you can also get his YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. So if you can't donate, that's fine. We understand. Totally fine. Just go over here and click this shit for free. But if you can't donate, what you can do for free is you can go to his YouTube channel, subscribe, hit the bell, find him on Facebook, retweet his shit, share his videos, and that helps even more. So the link is in the description, guys, so you guys know what to do. And leave him a comment on his channel. So, and let them know, hey, fake Mike sent me. And that also helps in the algorithm too. So make sure you like, share, and subscribe. We're going to bring that up again. 
Uh, but yeah, please support the people that are out here that are putting their lives on the line and out there in the streets too. Zach, Zach could just sit his ass behind a keyboard all day and, and still be breaking fools off, but he's not. He's also getting out there and he's bringing other people with them. So Zach, please continue. If you don't mind bringing back up the uh, Gematria calculator. Look at him. He's so humble. I love this guy. He's cute. Oh, so the links are in the description. We're going to bring the Gematronator, the Gematronator back. I'm going to learn to pronounce this. By shit the way, the website you were just on of mine has the same calculator on it, too. And you got the damn calculator, guys. So that's the link. It's the top link in the description of this video. Let, let's just keep the one cipher up there again, just so it's easier for people to follow. If you don't mind closing the other ones. Sure. We'll just so keep up that same one. We, we want to keep English order and all that, but close the other two. And I just take out the full reduction, right? Yeah. So we've been we're, we're just hammering the point home 74. Again, we talk about how holiday 74, like this nation's birthday, we write it 74. Write out the word killing. There, there's a song out there called Gematria or Gematria. It's it actually is more appropriate to call it Gematria, but they're all 74. There's a song out there called Gematria, the killing name. And three of the first five presidents, are you aware that they died on July 4th? Yes, coincidentally, yeah. That's I, I. I didn't know three. I definitely knew it was Thomas Jefferson, John Adams. Who was died on the same day? They both died July fourth, eighteen twenty six, and then eighteen hundred and twenty six days later, which also fell on July fourth, Monroe died. Wow. So that's again, 18, 20, 26 days later. I mean, how does that even freaking happen? Now, uh, have you ever looked up the song Gematria, the killing name? No, it says, um, just type it, type it. It's a slipknot. song. actually, you know what? Type Gematria real quick. Let's do something real quick before we look at the lyrics of the song. Cause it's about how America is a killing name. So, okay. We're going to do the two ciphers that Manly P Hall taught. So go back up to the ciphers and the one that's in the English category. That's dark blue that we unchecked. No, keep the word in there. Keep the words Gematria and killing in there. Keep, keep those words in there. Both for killing too. Yeah, well, not together, but just Gematria and Killing. Okay. We're going to see how they have the exact same value in the same cipher. We're going to talk about why it matters. Go, So go back to where it says English and then click that full reduction one, which is actually known as Pythagorean Gematria. Derek re renamed everything on here, but Gematria. Now, now type in Killing so people can see it's 74 and 38. They're the exact same. So there's a song out there called Gematria, the Killing Name. And if you just wrote out death in the simple cipher, wow, death's also Slipknot occurred. knows what's up. Sorry, what, what do you want me to write? Well, you can just write and just show them that death is also 38 in the most simple cipher because th this number shows up all the time around death. Um, you know, th there's a gazillion examples. But the point is, the band that did the song Gematria, the killing name, they've had two members of the band die since the song came out. The first died at age 38, and then the second one just died recently on a 38 date numerology. And when you go to this calculator at first, what you'll notice is there's four ciphers. There's the alphabetic order and alphabetic order with the rules of numerology, like what we have up right now. And then there's also just running the alphabetic order in reverse with numerology, which is the other half of the code, which Manly P. Hall leaves out of his book, The Secret Teachings of All Ages. It could be that he wasn't aware that that was the other half of the code, or maybe he didn't want to give everybody the full deal. deal. But the band Slipknot is 46 and you run it in reverse. The first guy who died at age 38, he died on a 46-date numerology, and the guy who just died on a 38-date numerology died at age 46. The word sacrifice is also 46, like Genesis 46 begins with the sacrifice. But let, let's let's just keep up the dark blue cipher right now to show people something else. That, that I just want people to see what I saw after I read Manly P. Hall's The Secret Teachings of All Ages. I used to do this in a, in a notebook by hand. By the way, this website we're using right now was created by somebody who found my work that thought my work was a joke, but then he realized it wasn't a joke. And then he got really into the research himself and built this website, which helped us do Gematria a lot faster. But if you can close the green cipher now and just leave up the dark blue one, I want to show people one other thing about this cipher that, that's truly mind blowing. So, and there's, understand there's a gazillion things that are mind blowing. Write out Independence Day. When I saw this, I just knew there there wow. was no way it was an accident. I, I was so this is these are the two and it's seven. Independence Day is literally seven four, isn't it? Exactly, exactly. So Manly P Hall, he doesn't decode anything in his book, but he tells you about this subject and he gives you these two ciphers and essentially encourages the reader to do their own research. 
And, uh, you know, when I first started this, the exact things that I'm sharing with you right now, because these were all my initial finds that just made me go, okay, there's no way this is a coincidence. I used to do it all notebook. I Give wrote this drink, stuff Zach. out. Keep talking. I can hear you. I'm going to get a drink, though. Keep, keep going. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. But in 2013 is when I fi figured this out. It was August of 2013 when I came across this information. And um, I, at that moment in August 2013, I was just like an overdrive to, to really figure out what I'd been looking at since 9-11, the, the numerical rituals, the obvious lies, the propaganda. And I was just trying to find something new to bring to the, the, the truth community to show that, yeah, we are being manipulated and it is being done by a code and it is being done by a cultist and it is secret societies running the show, which to me is so obvious because, uh, again, you got you got the Masons in D.C. and you got the Jesuits. And uh, again, both have had many critics throughout the years, the, the Jesuits even more than the Masons. And that's the funny thing about the supposed truth community. Most of them hardly talk. About let's the Jesuits. Talk about the, let's talk about the Jesuits too, because there may be some new people. I've talked about the Jesuits a lot on this channel. Um, and, and we've talked about how Trump, Hillary, Biden, Fauci, they're all Jesuits. We've, we've talked about that. Um, and then actually we've had uh, uh, just the other day and then like five or six times separately, Leo Zagami, who really goes into depth of, about the Jesuits. If you can break down you know, what, who the Jesuits are a little bit and, you know, some of the interesting things, some of the highlights or lowlights are of the Jesuits. That would be cool too, to this, uh, to just, I mean, I know you brought over quite a lot of people. So hi to Denise, of course. Um, and everybody from Gematria Effect News, shout outs to, to the angels and everybody. Uh, it was really awesome that Zach was able to do that. And, uh, before I let Zach continue, I just want to say, um, we're keeping the momentum going of Oklahoma City. So I want you to put one in the chat if you'll be joining us. Look me up on Facebook. I'm going to put my name right now on Facebook. Zach, I've also uh, sent you a link to become a co-host to that event. You may have to click it, scroll back through your notifications. I know you're a popular guy, um, but check it out. This is my name on Facebook right here on the screen. You're going to want to go over to my Facebook page, scroll down. There's a couple posts. Um but you'll see an event. Actually, you know, I'm just going to make that event my new post. But yeah, just go through my Facebook. It's like only a few posts down the event. I want you guys to join. There's an event there. It's a nonviolent event. We're all going to be there. Um, I need you guys to go over there. But yes, please continue. Oh, OK, I'm going to do that as soon as we're done with this here. I'm going to transition into the Jesuits, but I got to show we're, we're going to go from. Take your time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're, we're going to go from masonry to the Jesuits because they're related. Modern Freemasonry is a Jesuit creation. So in this cipher that we have up, do all these words separate. Do federal, order, secrecy, masonry. Hold on, hold on. Federal, 33. Order. Order, 33. Secrecy, 33. Interesting. Masonry. <laughs> Interesting. And just, just drop Mason the R... Drop the R-Y real quick, too. Just take off the R-Y and just leave Mason. Wow. The, the House of the Temple in D.C., it's address. The, that's the that's the headquarters for the 33rd degree of the Scottish Rite in D.C., the House of the Temple. The address is 1733. Modern right. Freemasonry was created in— I forgot to—you know what? List, you know what we forgot on our simple— our simple English gematria decode, the one word I forgot to have you write in was London, because London's also 74, which doesn't that make so much sense. But London— is divided into 33 neighborhood areas and the Jesuits created modern Freemasonry in the banking district of London, June 24th, 1717. 59 is the 17th prime number. 59 years later, this nation was created. So this is something that, you know, I've talked about 33 and I, I'm kind of interrupting you, but this will also probably help some of the listeners too. I mean, you were talking about earlier, like, and I think that you you, you may be onto something because everything is a vibration, right? That these numbers do give up different vibrations. I think there might be something to that. And I think that's a very interesting point that you made. But maybe aside from that, we've brought up the number 33. And you're right, about seven, it, it is located. We actually live streamed in there. We we were told not to and kept live streaming it in, inside that uh, place. And not only is it located at 1733, its actual address, but there's 33 
33 foot columns around that. Uh, Jesus died at age 33, performed 33 miracles. If you count all the bones up in the spine, there's 33 masonry. There's 33 degrees in masonry. There's 33 sections of the United Nations flag. Masonry itself equals 33. What is the deal with the number 33 and why do they love it so much? Well, you you just said it. It, it, Type out the word people and type out the word person. Wow. This is an important number, obviously. They, they love this People number. People and person are both 33. 33 bones in the human vertebrae. The Masons are big on Kundalini, about spiritual ascension up the 33 bones of the human vertebrae. And um, it, it, it just so I'm not making you type out everything. Some, no, I mean, some of it you have to run you know, it in. Too, if you want to even type, so I don't mind being your little bitch a little bit, but you can type some of this stuff out too. I, I can share your screen, but I actually, you know what? The thing is, I like, I like typing this shit out because I, after I started watching and, and everybody that's joining just now, people are like, what the hell is going on? You got, you're not yelling at a cop. Well, what's going on? Um, no, we do interviews and this is an interview we've never done. We're talking about Gamatria. We've never talked about this uh, on our channel. And I was like, didn't know shit about Gamatria. I, I tried to go down that rabbit hole years ago and I found people on YouTube and it didn't make any sense to me. And I thought, this is, mm, I don't know. These people aren't making any sense. So I said, you know, I'll put that on the back burner. There's other things I, I got to look into, other things I got to do. But I think it's, so I started watching Zach's videos recently after I met Zach and you know, the number six, I'll, I'll leave my opinions behind, but there are, there is something to this. And then when you have Francis Bacon, you have Manly P. Hall, Pythagoras, uh, ancient Jewish mysticism. Um, it's really crazy. But one of the things that helped me out, I, I, I'm the type of person and everybody in the chat should be like this too. What up, Louie? Oh, uh, everybody in the chat. What up? Disambiguation. You guys should be like this too. Don't take what Zach's saying or I'm saying. Pull this shit up yourself. I've been pulling this up during Zach's videos. I was checking out random things too. I typed in my name. I typed in my friend's name. I typed in Wu-Tang. I was typing, playing around with other numbers and seeing what they are. One of the things that um, I'm still kind of getting into is the, and I, I had to do my own research because I pulled up the Gamatronator and me and my boy Nas were sitting there looking at it and we we're like, okay, so... There's these four different ciphers. Uh, and, and then Zach's teaching me about new ciphers. So it's important that you do this yourself. You guys should all do this. And I was like, well, what are these different ciphers? And what do they mean? And how do they work? And we started, you know, playing around with it too, because we wanted to, we even wanted to add the shit up ourselves to make sure that the Gamatronator was telling us the truth, which it was, but you, you know, you never know. So you guys have to go through all of this yourself. So if you're just joining, uh, check out gematrieeffect.news, gematrieeffect.news gematria effect news on youtube and again the link to his book is in the description all zach's stuff here and so i think it's important i actually like typing this shit in so oh here in the same cipher just type out the word nervous too because we're talking about the 33 bones in the human vertebrae which controls the human nervous system so nervous is also 33 and here while we're at it here's a here's something that made the whole world nervous Ty type in uh false flag and no, while, while you're at it, also type in the word pirate, which is where the terminology comes from. And shout outs to shout outs to all the, that's right. The the pirates are in the uh the Templars and yeah. Yeah, the, the exactly. So Knights Templars, Jesuits, Masonry to create a new Masonic Lodge, the Templars have to be on hand. Type out the word pirate. And oh, shout wait, outs to just, all the uh Shout out to the main pirates, Titus Frost. Everyone go check out my boy Titus Frost and all the pirates out there, too. Oops. My pirates. And, 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 wow. Well, type, type, also type out police. Police? Police has, police has the fraternal order of police. Yeah, police. Oh, man. Oh, man. Zachary. Okay, so just just think about this. Think about how often they're encoding this number in, in scary this? news stories. Think about how often they're encoding the number 33 in scary news stories. We just saw it in New York. If you run the alphabetic order in reverse numerology, New York's another 33. And, and the shooting that just happened in New York in the subway. And, and here's the joke with the New York subway shooting on April 12th. That's the anniversary 
of the Civil War starting. And when you think Civil War, you might think Underground Railroad. And we got the first, well, we got the second black mayor in New York history. The first was the 106th mayor where black equals 106 and so does Black Lives Matter. But again, the, the latest shooting was exactly 33 weeks after Hochul became governor. You got the, the former police commissioner is the mayor. He's saying 33 shots from a Glock 17, Mason 17, Masonry 33. Wow, dude. But again, you got a black mayor, underground railroad, blamed on a black shooter. When you run the alphabetic order in reverse numerology, police is 30. They said it took 30 hours to get the shooter. This is, this is where the forwards and backwards thing comes in. 33 shots. They got, that was exactly how Eric Adams said it. He said, 33 shots, and we got him 30 hours later. I was like, God, if people only knew Gematria, man. Here's the police commissioner mayor. And, and it was so nice of him to drop the, va uh, the, the, va the V mandate on Kyrie Irving's birthday. What a nice little touch that was. Okay, so, yeah, keep going. Cause, and that's another thing I wanted to ask you about, too, is for, for anybody that doesn't know, too, um, we've interviewed uh, Brian Tui, who used to be a sports journalist uh, quite a few times. And then he found out, hey, this is all bullshit and rigged. <laughs> and here's how they do it. We've interviewed him about how they do it. Uh, you know, it's some of the it, I, I, maybe Zach has a different opinion on this. I heard Zach say something different. But from from what he says is definitely the main players are involved and they've been blackmailed by either drugs or violence. That's how they used to do it with the mafia and everything like that. And there's FBI files backing all this up. And also that's, oh man, that's a big, that's a big uh, line in the sky. I'll just sit, leave it at that going right over. I'm right near a military base right now too, which is interesting. Um, but when it comes to the sports, uh, and there's something that we all know, anybody that's watched sports, I used to be a big sports person before I, I uh, woke up to the truth. And then even for a couple of years, I watched football because I love football. I love basketball and football. I love playing it. I used to coach it. You know what I'm saying? I, I still like sports. Um, I just don't waste my time watching it all the time. But now I might start watching it again if I can make some money here. And uh, and Zach has apparently been able to win some some people some money based on the gematria in in sports too, because this this extends to more than things. Can you talk about uh, gematria in in effect and in, in how it relates to pro sports? Well, it's college and pro. It's all rigged by the same code. A absolutely. Um, here, just to finish this point, though, on, on just 33. Uh, yeah. Again, just for people who understand how this works. So 33 is this number that's encoded at what we identify as, as people. And again and again, can you also type in the word teacher real quick for me? Because 33 is the master teacher number in numerology. So wow. again, we just talked about how false flag is 33. Again, 9-11 from 1968, when the whole plan went into motion, 2001, 33 years later. Humanity, I mean, there... Humanity definitely is connected. And we just had our gathering in Oklahoma City. All these synchronicities were coming together between all these different people that were there. And a lot of them are saying, like, man, I've never had so many synchronicities happen in my life. Again, we were all there with a common purpose as a common people dedicated to a common thing. There's something about people being on the same page and working towards something. You have to understand what the controllers are doing using their technology is they're like manipulating humanity. You know, the, uh, another mass shooting with another 33 encoded, and the politicians are on TV saying, how many more of these do you need to see before we finally, you know, take some serious... Uh, they're trying to teach you a lesson. They're trying to get everybody on the same page of an agenda, and it's being waged by a code. And it should be pretty obvious to most people since they use the same numbers over and over. But again, in terms of a nervous system, and it also having this gematria value, and it being about 33 bones in the vertebrae, again, a nervous system, all these separate parts in our body that are all connected in this through this nervous system it's like humanity in a way is, is a it's like we're all part of a larger nervous system and it's being manipulated by these psychopaths and uh, again so that's the short of it a as for sports um click the you see where it says base ciphers on the screen there's a button that says base ciphers what's that you see how there's a button that says base ciphers on the screen where yeah, yeah right it's, here it's yeah. a little above the 33 yep just yeah. click that Click that. Okay. So type out, oh, just to talk about a recent sports thing, type out North Carolina Tar Heels. They just lost the championship to uh, Kansas in March Madness. And a, a big clue right before the Final Four that, that it was going to be the North Carolina Tar Heels in, in Kansas 
was they had Brandon Haywood, who used to play at North Carolina, on CNN to talk about the Final Four and what he thought was going to happen before they whittled it down to North Carolina versus Kansas. Now, they had – keep in mind the championship was on TBS owned by Turner, which, by the way, equals 33 in the same cipher, and, and T, CNN's headquartered on the 33rd parallel in Atlanta, Georgia. Huh. If you guys don't know, CNN also broke the news footage of the plane hitting the tower. Nobody else had it before CNN. But um, they that. had they had Brandon Haywood on to talk about what he thought would happen in the Final Four exactly 124 days after his birthday. And I pointed out to my community, I said, this could be the clue because, as we know, this is Kansas's 124th season. And Bill Self came into the tournament with 124 losses. Now, you might recall Kansas had a record comeback over North Carolina down 15 at the half. Do me a favor and spell out the number 15. Just write out 15 as a word. As you saw, North Carolina Tar Heels had 124 when you run the alphabetic order in reverse with numerology. So here's everything that's interesting about this. So when you write out 15, it equals 65 with the alphabetic order. In that same cipher, Kansas equals 65, and Kansas just won the championship 65 days after the state's birthday. Wow. Kansas was the 34th state, and they win the, they, they won the tournament getting their 34th win of the season, which has been a big number this year in, in all sorts of things. There's been all sorts of crazy suicides in the news. Suicide equals 34. Ukraine equals 34. Matt Stafford became the 34th quarterback to win a Super Bowl at age 34. The coach, Sean McVay, his fiance is from Ukraine. They got the golden blue colors. It was the 102nd NFL season. The uh, the Ukraine conflict popped off 102 days after the Superior General's birthday. The leader of the Jesuits, Art of Wars, going through it. Pull up. But going through this list right here, you see 15 also equals 38. If you write out UNC, it equals 38, who gave up the 15-point record lead at halftime. It also has the 124, like how this was Kansas's 124th season, and Bill Self stayed on 124 losses. And, of course, 15 also equals 34, like Kansas is the 34th state. And they won, getting their 34th win of the season. If you want to show people, if you want to write out Kansas, they'll see it's 65. If you want to write out UNC, they'll see it's 38. And if you want to write out Tar Heels, they'll see that it's 34. So Kansas won the championship 65 days after the state's birthday. UNC 38 with the 15 coding. And then Tar Heels is also 34. And um, they got their 34th win of the season as the 34th state in a year of 34s. And, um, you know, whose dad died right before the, the tournament was Bill Self's dad died. And you see these same type of things happen over and over. Um, th- there's a lot more to it. But, again, you can just go through college and pro. And it's the same rituals year after year after year. This year, the Peacocks were the big story in in, uh, March Madness. The the Jesuit school, St. Peter's Peacocks from New Jersey. They upset number two Kentucky on St. Patrick's Day. And their season finishes with their last win on Peacock Day. And their last win was in the Sweet 16. And who died 16 days after their birthday was their greatest player in history. Delnardo Webster, who died on March 22nd, infamous 322. If you go back to last year, who died on March 22nd? Elgin Baylor died on March 22nd last year at age 86, right before Baylor won the championship with 86 points. Baylor University equals 82. They won the 82nd March Madness. This year, Kansas won the 83rd tournament and was the only team to win a game in the tournament with 83 points, which happened in the first round, which is why I told my people then, you better put a future on Kansas winning the championship because they're a one seed and nobody's talking about them in the media. Everybody was selling Arizona, Gonzaga, nobody talking about Kansas. Kansas just flew under the radar the whole way, only team to score 83 points, and they end up winning the the, the 83rd tournament. But year after year, it's the same kind of rituals. And um, we've been able to smash college and professional sports for, for going on nine years straight. We put a lot of money in a lot of people's pockets. People say, well, why can't you call every single one? Well, again, it's like taking pieces of a puzzle and you got to put it together right or you'll come to the wrong outcome. And the thing is, I've hit way more than I've missed on. And uh, again, if you've been with me for through the journey, you're way up like everyone is in the community. And um, again, college and pro, you can undeniably show just how rigged it is. Again, the rituals are taking place before your eyes every day. Like, like I just said, 
They bring on Brandon Haywood on CNN right before the final four, 124 days after his birthday. Why did they choose Brandon Haywood? Well, you already have the answer. North Carolina has a lot of players that have played on that team, but they found the right guy for that right, right before the final four that was 124 days after his birthday. We knew that was a big number with Bill Self in Kansas because, again, it was their 124th season on 124 losses. They end up beating the team with the 124 connection. Um, if you want to write out the name Michael Jordan, I'll show you something funny about Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan turned 59 years old this year, and it, it was an easy – something gamblers like to do is they like to pick out a series of games where they know that they can hit like four games in a row because they call it rolling your money. Well, it was super obvious that the Bulls were going to go 4-0 and in their home stretch right before Jordan's 59th birthday. If you go back and look at the Bulls season, they won four straight home games – to become 23 and eight at home on Jordan's 59th birthday. And as you can see, Michael Jordan has 238 in his name when you run it in reverse. And looking at the numbers, if you're new here, you might look at those numbers and be like, what's it mean? Well, if you write out the word slave, Negro, blues, Rasta, they all equal 59 forwards, 76 in reverse. Here's one of the greatest black athletes there ever was, Michael Jordan, whose name equals 59 and 76. The Million Man March was on the day leaving 76 days left in the year. The name Barack Obama equals 76. You can go back to years ago when he referenced himself 76 times in 33 minutes, which was a national headline. The name Barack Obama, 76. His new book, A Promised Land, which references the Bible, equals 59 and 76. He released it on the day leaving 44 days left in the year. Acts is the 44th book of the Bible. Acts 7 6 is about 400 years of slavery. 400 years of slavery in America was August 2019. That was part of how we predicted. We said, watch, shortly after August 2019, you'll see some really crazy shit happen in the US 19 years after 9 11 and the 19 hijackers. It ended up being COVID 19 because the verse after Acts 7 6 is Acts 7 7 that says that nation gets punished after 400 years. And uh, again, I, I know I'm talking a little bit fast. But just going through these numbers up here on Michael Jordan's name, in the same cipher where Michael Jordan is 113, Kobe Bryant is 113. Do you mind writing in Kobe Bryant? I don't know. Kobe Bryant's birthday is 23 slash 8, like how Michael Jordan's also 238. And Kobe Bryant is also 113 like Michael Jordan. If you write out the National Basketball Association, it's also 113, which is the 30th prime number, like there's 30 teams. And um, after you write that, after you write that, and people see the one one three. So, so many rituals with this number in the NBA. It's ridiculous. This is this is the NBA's signature number. But one hundred and thirteen, the thirtieth prime, thirty teams in the league, not arbitrary. Coronavirus pandemic equals one hundred and thirteen. You might recall the NBA lockdown on March eleventh, eleven slash three, after the Utah Jazz player, the only team in the league that equals one one three is Utah Jazz. If you want to write that out. But Utah Jazz 113, Kobe Bryant 113 played his last game against the Utah Jazz. Moses Malone, who was drafted out of high school, died just before Kobe's last season. Co Moses Malone was drafted by the Utah Stars. But um, Utah Jazz 113, like Michael Jordan, who beat them in two championships to get rings five and six. I got to come back to the Jesuit thing. We'll do that. But um, if you want to write out Kobe Bryant again, I just want people to see this. So Kobe Bryant equals 113. Right before his death, 44 days before. Oh, let's just go through this real quick. Kobe Bryant died at age 41, traveling from Catholic Mass on the Pope's 41st day of his age. He died on his 157th day of his own age. There's about a million more 157s that go with Kobe's death. It's well documented in my latest book, Number Games. But uh, 44 days before his death, he was in the news for helping out with a car accident, which was uh, his 113th day of his age. And that was a little predictive programming for what was going to happen to him 44 days later, where the word kill is 44. So is execution. Think of MLK on 4-4. This year on 4-4, they had to give you a story of a black man being shot to death by a police officer in Michigan, which equals 44. But where Kobe Bryant's 58. So is Los Angeles Lakers. Los Angeles Lakers is 58. And the day before Kobe died, LeBron James passed Kobe Bryant in points scored in Kobe's hometown, Philly, which gets its name from the Bible. And of course, they call LeBron King James, like how there's the King James Bible, like how LeBron won his only finals with the Cavs on the real King James's birthday, June 19th. And a lot of people don't get this, but 
King James's son was King Charles, and the people who fought for King Charles in the English Civil War were called Cavaliers. Thus, you have King James playing on the calves. But the real King James died at age 58. And Biblicals, 58. Secret Societies, 58. Freemasonry's, 58. Rosicrucians, 58. Kundalini's, 58. Uh, again, it's a long list, but again, there, there's a reason certain teams are, are so special. Do you mind just writing in NBA real quick? NBA, just the, the abbreviation. One of the easiest calls that, that we want. We, we pretty much shut down the website five dimes. Five dimes had to write a letter to its subscribers that they were not going to pay out for their Lakers championship future. I, I had the whole world on that future. And it's also one of the reasons I got censored too. Because I told people, I said, LeBron just got shipped from the 17th state, Ohio, to the Lakers on July 1st, which can be written 1 slash 7. And I said, just watch. In his 17th season, he'll win the Lakers their 17th championship. They said he went with the $153 million deal, which is the 17th triangular number. Sure enough, LeBron wins the Lakers their 17th championship in the 17th season. And that was the year Kobe Bryant died. LeBron ended up winning the finals exactly 41 weeks after his birthday. And it's never at that time, the, the NBA finals was never at that time in any history in the NBA except for that year because of COVID. They had to move it because of COVID. And the Lakers won the finals on Father Daughter Day after the death of Kobe and his daughter. Wow. If you don't mind writing the letters LA up there, just LA. Kobe and his daughter died in LA. Kobe died at 41. His daughter died at 13. And 41's the 13th prime. LA's 13 forwards, 41 in reverse, just alphabetic order, forwards and backwards. But LeBron wins the finals exactly 41 weeks after his birthday on Father Daughter Day after Kobe and his daughter died age 41 and 13. And if you don't mind writing out Kobe Bean Bryant, that's his full name. Bean? Kobe Bean Bryant, that's his full name. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. So you see the 54 in the most pure cipher. He died one Sunday before Super Bowl 54. Just, just if you recall, <laughs> you see how Kobe Bean Bryant's also 81 when you run it in reverse? Mm -hmm. Do you remember how many points he scored in his 666th career game? Wow. Okay. Yeah, I know he scored 81 that one time. Yes, I do. I didn't know that was a 666 game, but yeah, that's it, crazy. It was. If you look it up, it was. It was a 666th career game. And the rest of his team scored 41 in that game, like Kobe Bryant's 41, like LA's 41, like King is 41. You know, King James goes to LA. Um, the 243 is interesting because he died 243 days after Jerry West's birthday, who's the, the logo of the league. Uh, the 135 is interesting because he died 135 days from Kanye West's birthday. And there, there's a there's a short film he did for Nike with Kanye West and Bruce Willis where the it ends with a helicopter blowing up. Yes. Kobe Kobe Bryant blows up uh, Kanye West, and his and his helicopter crash was close to Kanye West Mansion. Um, the, the, if you write out Central Intelligence Agency, it's also 135 and 243, and I'm here to tell you they control your celebrities, your entertainers, your sports leagues. They control all the things that control your mind. But um, remember, we were just talking about Clinton, how the – the uh, the Oklahoma City bombing was 243 days after Clinton's birthday and exactly 117 weeks after he became president. It has the CIA fingerprints all over it. Um, the, that Gina Marie Haspel, the last CIA director, her, her name's got the 135. They, they use all these numbers as the point. This is the code. Alphabetic order, forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards with the rules of numerology. I, I'm just giving you little highlights, but every number that's been up on the screen for Kobe Bryant factors into his death. It's just a lot to explain. And um, again, it, he was traveling from Catholic Mass. Can you do me a favor and write out Society of Jesus? Catholic Society of Jesus? Just Society of Jesus. Society, Society of Jesus. Jesus is the official name of the Jesuits. And, and remember, we started with the encoding of 74, how it relates to Jesus, how masonry relates to 33. London, again, is 74. It's divided into 33 neighborhood areas, like Jesus is 74, crucified on the cross at 33. Out of the 50 states, there's only one state that equals 74. It's the 33rd state, Oregon. So this 7433 is a Masonic thing, and it's a Jesus thing. And again, it's the Society of Jesus who created modern Freemasonry in London, which equals 74, the city that's divided into 33 neighborhood areas. Now, with regards to Society of Jesus, there's something to say about all these numbers on the screen. But let's just start with the most pure cipher, 56. 
When I say U.S. history in 56, does it stand out anywhere to you, Will? Say again. 56 in U.S. history, the founding of the country. Does that number stand out to you anywhere? Weren't there 56 signatures of the... You win. Yes. And who? what's the most famous signature on there? Oh, John Hancock. What age did he die at? 56. Yeah, I bet you guessed, but you got it right. Yeah, I did Smart guess. Man. <laughs> Smart man. And uh, again, if you type in Washington, D.C., you'll see it's the same. But wa- Well, actually, yeah, go ahead and type in Washington, D.C. You'll see it's got the 56 and, and the 187. Now, these numbers aren't arbitrary. If you can type in the word Abrahamic for me. Abrahamic. By the way, I got to get out of here real quick because I have a dentist appointment. But yeah, Abraham, actually, I was going to say, let's not keep this too long because I, I want I want for the first thing. And then everyone can go. The, all Zach's info is in the description. His book, his YouTube, his Patreon, his PayPal, his Facebook, Twitter, all that are in the description. It's the top link in the description. So please support uh, V. I meant someone sent, someone sent me V. Please uh, support Zach. It's all this stuff is in the description. Right. Okay, so Abrahamic. The Abrahamic religions is where all of this encoding is. The five books of Moses. The Jewish name, uh, it's a lot to explain, but the Abrahamic religions are based in the Torah, which are the five books of Moses, which Moses, which are 187 chapters. And there's a common belief that Adam and Eve, who are at the start of Genesis, which is the beginning of the Abrahamic religion story. If, for those who don't know, the Abrahamic religions are Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. They all share the Torah. But it's 187 chapters. The common belief is Noah had 56 children. Or what did I just say? Adam and Eve did. Um, By the way, Kayla's right. In God We Trust was added to the dollar bill in 56. The I was added to the dollar bill in 35. I equals 35, like Genesis 3, 5. Again, almost all the riddles that they do are pulled right from here, from the Torah and the five books of Moses. Genesis 11, 9 is where the story of the Tower of Babel ends. Not to mention Genesis 11 is the story of Tower of Babel. Again, the tower that divides the world, like how 9, 11 and the Master 11 ritual divided the world. But these numbers right here are, are, are so important. Abrahamic is 56, 61, 187. Washington, D.C. is 56, 187, and 61. And who's been in the D.C. longer than the feds? The Jesuits have, the Society of Jesus. And the Jesuits are Catholic and Jewish, so essentially Jewish and Christian, but they work within all religions. So they are Abrahamic. Uh, Again, what I want people to understand is the numbers are not arbitrary. They're all pulled from the Bible. We're essentially living out biblical riddles where the the powers that shouldn't be use the Bible like a playbook. They're using this ancient knowledge that started out in Hebrew and Greek. They've encoded the English language. They've synced it up with the Gregorian calendar. Again, go back to the 16th century. The Jesuits were created. The calendar rolled out. English was standardized as we know it now. The heliocentric model was agreed to, which is a whole nother discussion. And pretty much all of recorded history from that point forward up to now, if you go through it with Gematria, you'll just be laughing the whole way. You'll be like, oh my God, they've encoded out everything. And remember the word his story, it has story right in it. The word believe has the word lie right in it. Not to mention with all of our 33s, if you want to write out believe for me in Bible, maybe we'll just end it right there. Believe and Bible. Believe's got the old 33 in it, Mm. and so does Bible. And, uh, you know, it's also known as the good book, which is another 33. But there's things to say about the other numbers up there as well. So we'll save it for another time. Um, Will, I do appreciate you having me on, and and I'm glad we came to New York City, 9-11. We're going to re- we'll we'll at least meet again then. I will be in New York this year on 9-11. And uh, if you if you have anything you want to close out with or any closing questions, I got about five minutes and then I got to run to the dentist. Awesome, guys. So get your questions for Zach in the chat and I'll stay. I'm, I'll probably stay a little bit after too. Um, maybe I'll go over some of these foyer emails. I always say I'm going to do that, but that's such a whole thing. That's like going to be a whole another stream. But I'll take a couple questions after Zach leaves. So if you guys got some questions here for Zach, put them in the chat. He's got five minutes. So make them quick and try to be specific with your questions, too. Uh, and then someone else was saying, Hey, Will, get to my comments. I'll get to it. Just, just, just give me a sec. Um, while we're waiting on questions, I'll just say something about the values that are up there. Bible 30, the ministry of Jesus begins at age 30. 
21 is an interesting number because it's the sixth triangular number. The word Saturn is 21 in the in the same cipher. Saturn's the sixth planet. A cube has six sides. That's why a cube represents Saturn. But man is made on the sixth day. And, and then, of course, 33 resonates with the human being as well. 105 is a longer discussion. Um, D26. Put- uh, this guy's brilliant right here. So but you can read that comment. Yeah. OK, they, they're, they're trying to bet that. Any other questions or comments for Zach? Let's get it up there. OK. Cuts one is saying what kind of 56 ritual they got cooked up for five, six. The, the other year it was Soleimani. The other year it was Soleimani. They said 56 people were stampeded his funeral. His name's 56. Um, it was on May 6th that Trump vetoed the Iran war powers resolution, which was 56 days after it was signed. Um, it, it's hard to say exactly what they'll do this year. I haven't thought too much about it, but they do. They have a big 56 ritual every year on May 6th, so we'll find out soon enough. You know, we, as we know, corona, well, we, I know you don't really want to say the word, but the actual word for cooties equals 56. So does Anthony Fauci. So does, and he's Jesuit educated. So does COVID, the cootie vaccine. They, they all, they all got the 56 in it. Gavin Newsom, <laughs> don't forget Gavin Newsom, Jesuit educated. He said in 50s, he said 56% of California will have cooties in eight weeks, which is 56 days. But uh, no, no doubt about it. They'll, they'll, and, and when you say one ritual, they'll probably have about 10 rituals on that day with 56. because That's normally how they do it. This is the new world order. And you'll see, you know, all across the earth, there'll, there'll be all sorts of 56 stories on May 6th. No doubt about it. Yeah. And the last Botos is saying, Zach, be careful because dentist equals 44. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's an interesting thing. Jared Bailey versus the world. That Saturn has the hexagon on the pole pretty interesting we, we we're, we'll have to save that for another stream that's a lot to get into right there saturn unless you have a, like a, a couple sound bites you want to talk about saturn and, and stuff because that's that's pretty important yeah i mean I, it's a big discussion really well we'll save it for another time because we, we kind of we, we start off real simple like i got into my talking faster and, and a little bit more you did but it was good because you were people were saying you're on fire and you're good um and it is good that we're we're kind of winding down now because uh, because I don't want to overload people, especially when you get in D26 saying the order of skull and bones equals 1776 Sumerian. The order of skull and bones is 1776 in reverse Sumerian. Interesting. Um, and yeah, what about the number 322? We see that number a lot. If, let, let's end uh, here, it well, let's close out with that. Yeah. So do this for me. Write out Abrahamic religions and then write out ancient mystery religions. Three, two, two. And then you said ancient mystery religions? Yeah, and that, that includes the knowledge we're talking about. Ancient mystery religions is Kabbalah, Kundalini, Hermeticism, alchemy. They're both three, two, two. And, and in Genesis three, two, two, the tree of life is referenced, which is the physical model for Kabbalah. And both in the New International Version and the King James Version, despite the different wording, both verses equate to three, two, two when you use the reverse cipher with the reduction numerology when you run it through the knowing good and evil part. 322, two, uh, of course, you know, one of the big things that everyone should be concerned about in this world with 322 two is what was put up in Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones on March 22nd, which call for massive population. Wow, population. they came out on March 22nd? 1980, yeah. Wow. They're going to turn, turn 44 in 2024, which is a little bit concerning to me because Georgia and genocide are 44. Big, big kill number. Military's 44. NATO established on 44. But... Um, <laughs> Pfizer's a nice 44. There's a lot of 44 rituals with Pfizer bringing out their cootie shots. Um, So is Seattle, where the first case was, where Bill Gates operates out of. Everybody should look into Bill Gates' 2010 TED Talk. But anyway, well, I do got to go because I got to run to the dentist. It's about a 20-minute drive, and I got 20 minutes on my appointment. Zach, thank you so much. I hope everything goes well. I'll talk to you soon. Uh, And everybody, before while while Zach's leaving, I want you guys, we're just going to wrap it up right here. Go, the link's in the description, share this video and get all of Zach's info. Leave him a like, share and subscribe, comment, tell him Fake Michael sent you. And also get his book and share all the information. Guys, God bless Fake Michael, the Fake.